What's going on everyone? This is RJ back with another video and I want to start off by saying I'm sorry. I really am pissed off at myself for not uploading the past couple of days, week, because I just haven't had any video ideas, so I thought this would be a good idea. So I'm bringing to that over now. Here we go. I want to talk about <clears throat> sorry, I'm sorry. I want to talk about Call of Duty 2016 and what I think it will be. I think it's going to be Call of Duty Ghost 2. Now, a lot of you are probably pissed off saying, well, you know, fuck off. Ghost, the, you know, the first, you know, Ghost 1, it wasn't taken too kindly by the Call of Duty community. And people weren't happy with it, so then they started trashing on it. One of the most trashed games in history. Like, hands down, no one fucking liked it. I mean, I loved the game, but there were a few things, a few elements of the game that I didn't think were very fitting for it. And what could have been improved on. The guns. They were fucking cool. I like the snipers. I like every fucking gun in the game. Hell yeah. Keep the guns. Keep all that type of shit right there. That's awesome. Now. I think it's going to be a ghost too. For a couple of reasons. Now I'm on her 4. I'm not going to go into that. Maybe another video. I don't know. But it's going to be ghost too. For a couple of reasons. One. it's it's It was carried on. As a nail biter cliffhanger type of campaign. So we're going to see. A continuing story. Of how things went down. In Ghost 1. It's a carry on to a Ghost 2. And who fucking knows maybe even a Ghost 3. But. Let's just talk about. The couple elements that I think. Are going to be key factors. In how it's going to go down. This year. Now Todd Alderman. I think that's his name. Sorry if I could didn't get it right but he came back he was a map designer for mw2 and all that shit the maps in mw2 we all fucking loved them i mean i didn't some of them i didn't like which it's always gonna be like that in every call of duty there's any maps we don't like but todd alderman came back this you know the map designer from mw2 he came back he did his fucking thing like he showed us that in mw2 that he can do some good shit and now, in Ghost 2, if he did come back for that reason, he did leave, keep in mind. But that doesn't mean anything. You know, he could have just came back because Infinity War was like, hey, can you help us show some of the new map designers that we have how it's done? Maybe he came back, he did his thing, he showed them what to do, and then that's that's it. He leaves. Because he has a thing over at Respawn Entertainment, which were the creators of Titanfall. So, he came back. That's a plus side to this whole situation. Two, they hire a lot of new blood, new people to the team. That's going to allow the game to improve so much more. The manufacturing of the game is just going to be hands down a lot better. The, you know, the production of the team to be able to, you know, work on different parts of the game. It's going to be a lot better because there's more people there to work on it than just a little bit of people. The, you know, the team was crippled during the making of MW3 and Ghost. That's why the games weren't the best. But, I think Ghost was fucking awesome. I think MW3 was cool. But, you know, we're here talking about what's going to be happening now. I think that, after those two things happening, I think, fuck yeah. I think I think Infinity War stands a chance to take the throne once again. To take first place, the best, you know, the best team again but there's gonna be a few things that i think they should do little things little things that could improve the game and its stability one as a sniper if anyone in Fiddy ward is watching this maybe this will help maybe this will because i mean i am a sniper slash trick shot so i so i kind of know what the what they want now I try not to voice my opinion too much on what I think should be in the game and what should be out, but I'm going to do it anyway just for the sake of the video and my thoughts. Now, for little things such as crosshairs, you guys remember in, in Ghost, there were no crosshairs for your snipers. So if you were to go for a trick shot, this stands for trick shotters, you would, you know, kind of have a hard time lining up where you're shooting at. That's one little thing. That should be improved. They should add that back into the game. That alone can kind of help, you know. That's going to make trick shotting more fun and more 
it's gonna last longer. And allow this back too. Allow the YYs. Now, that's like I said, these are little things that don't seem to matter, but they actually do. Like in reality, these little things that I'm saying, they can probably de be the decisive factor whether this game is going to be a, a success or a fail. Now, add YYs back because you know you're able. And, you know, when you're YY, it makes your shots a lot more cleaner, smoother. Such as, let's look at NW2. That shit, trick shot was fucking beautiful in that game. It really was. So, yeah. A YY, add those back. Add crosshairs back. That, those are the things you need. Now, one more thing that I think should happen is bring back tactical insertions. Now... A lot of you might be saying, are you, a, are you a fucking booster? Do you boost for your shit? No, I don't. Thank you very much. I used to. <laughs> like, back in Black Ops 2, I sucked ass. And I did it. <clears throat> but, not anymore. <clears throat> so, yeah. Bring Tactical Insurgents back. Like if, you're a, if you're a sniper, you're going to need that shit to be able to get to the position where, there, where there's a feeder. You know, where you're, you're going to be feeding. <laughs> or going for your fucking clips. Instead of running all the way across the fucking map again just to hit your shit. So that's one. That's another thing that needs to come back. See now, <clears throat> these three things are going to be decisive things that could really make your game good or bad. Because if you, if you think about it, sniper, the sniper community is also a huge factor. Not just the competitive scene, but not even just the casual players. The snipers are a big factor in this. <laughs> so here are the three things that we need to see. Why wise, crosshairs and tactical insurgents. Now, please, if any Ward, you got to help us here. And if you if you really can, just listen to what I said here. I mean, it's not that, you know, it's not bad to take constructive criticism. Now, <laughs> if any Ward, this is going to help you, trust me. Make it happen. You do that, that will probably help your game. I still love you guys. You guys are my favorite designers, but this can help your game substantially you really you guys can do this and i have faith in you i never lost faith ever so yeah number one fan for infinity war is right here good luck infinity ward i know you guys can do it that's why i'm gonna link this fucking video to you guys because you know you guys are just fucking you guys are the shit so yeah hope you all enjoyed me in this long ass fucking rant talking about what I want it to be and what I think it should be and how it should go. This has been RJ with a video. Again, hope you all enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.